You're watching Spoiler Room with special guest, Old Grape God. Recorded live at Music Plastique at the Lloyd Center Mall. Check, check, check. Yeah. Yeah. Shitty Mike. Lo-fi. Hip-hop. To lose your shit to get it back to. This is this is how hip hop was supposed to be heard. <laughs> this is experimental set. I didn't really rehearse. I, didn't really I was, really I was, really I was, really I was really busy hustling, busy trying to hustling, paint all week. Hustling, trying to paint so, all week. You know, so I was, t- you know, trying to so paint all week. I was told I'm the only rapper. I was told I'm the only rapper. I'm the only rapper. I'm the only rapper. That's experimental, right? Because that's experimental, right? Nothing more experimental than not knowing musical Nothing theory. Nothing more experimental than not knowing musical theory. This is my first this time performing. This is my first time As a finish line, you guys are going to have to fill in all the blanks. I'm not going to say everything. I'm not going to make every sound. I'm not going to press every note or whatever the fuck fudge. Um... <laughs> It's probably better that I don't remember my lyrics, honestly. That call this a Tron special. My name's Tron, also known as Old Grape Guy, also known as the guy that's gonna be hassling you for, uh, you know, some art money. I bought this kalimba, most experimental instrument that I had at my house, and you know, they they say the the note on the thing, you can't see that. It's inscribed really small, so you know. Pretend like I know what I'm doing. All right. Uh, delay? 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 It's supposed to delay. It's supposed to repeat itself. I don't like repeating myself, but I like the machines do it. No, that's not a good one. Which one of, you, which one of my unreleased songs is your favorite? Check, check. All I want is for my delay to do delay things. It was doing it. Check, 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 check. Talk to me. This is the opener. I'm opening for myself. All right. Here we go. Now we're experimental. All right. Yeah. You guys are easy to impress. I wear all my wings today. Check, check. To compensate for not remembering things, you know? What good is remembering things? You know, you gotta create new memories, new experiences, you know? And growing up, I was really good at book reports. Not because I read the book, but I was just really good at lying my ass off as soon as I got up there. You know, just, I just, I live for that pressure. That pressure of like, you know, pretending like you Game up, I got next, I got next, huh? Like cheap trains, bruh. Blame your mama, blame your papa. You been praying your whole life to no avail. Pull up to them puppy gates, guys say you should've came proper. I'ma defer you to hell for the mediocre. Big girl singing, it's a mediocre. Guess I'm going home now, I'm a child, I got a child. You know what, honestly? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I did to my shit. Time is all off. This is what happens if you do your DJ for yourself. I'm not in the
Let's see if this works. I'm not a musician, I just used to sell drugs. That counts as the first song. All right, here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. The thing is, the thing is, you know, there's a lot going on in the world, man. You know, a lot of things going on. And we're expected to perform all the time, off the stage, more than on. You know, you're on stage, you have one bad show, people forget about it. I gotta live life the rest of the time. This is only 30 minutes. You know, I killed 30 minutes on the toilet. That called it, that called it the Tron special. All right, let's see what other beats. I put, <laughs> my dumbass. I put like two hours worth of beats on here. All the songs are like two weeks old, so I don't know any of them shits. But I have confidence. And that's what, you know, that's what gets white people art grants all the time, so. You know. Anyone from Rack in here? Pika? No? Shittier I do this, the more like I'm getting some bread. This is from an album that's coming out later this year. You don't care, though. I love smoking smelly. I think the delay on this mic's all fucked. Honestly, it doesn't sound right. I'm trying to do too much. I know what you're thinking. You guys came for music. <laughs> and I should just shut the fuck up and play the beats. It's probably more enjoyable. I'll pretend to be a beat maker and shit. Look at my little 404. I watch the Kenny Beats YouTube channel. Yeah, this speech is tight, but it's a little quiet, and that's probably my bad. I love smoking smelly. There ain't shit in my belly. I'ma turn my mic down, that's probably the problem. Teddy Murphy, riding sashimi. I don't want to be wanted, I want it to be needed. I just want to let go of all these expectations that I'm going to make something of myself go. And I just want to have a good day today. I want to have a good day tomorrow. I want to have a good day yesterday. So much shit is out of my hands. So much shit I just don't want to plan for. I'm going to let it go. You know, I play my own music, I get sick of it 20 seconds in. I don't know about y'all, but... It's not easy performing in front of no audience. Audience, easy. Everybody here is nice people. And it's a really small doorway, so if you're trying to get out, <laughs> you might not be seen as a nice person for me. Okay. Let me find a song that I actually know and just pretend like I'm in time. You know what? I've been talking too much. How's everybody doing? Mm, yeah, see, you would have been doing better <laughs> had I started this set out with some real music. But my problem is that's just a hi-hat. What the fuck is... Okay, I know this one. Ch 
check, check. I don't know the arc of this story. I just know it started and will probably never end. Heart being like a pygmy shoe, a hummingbird. Text me before you come through, even with just one word. I need the 444 warning. I put the U in the morning. I put the shrooms in the boot. I turn the room to a lava lamp. I wrote my eulogy in comic sense. I can't stand the humorless and your whole crew is sans comic. <laughs> my bad chronic, don't tell me what the rumor is. Give me the facts, give me the loot. I'm trying to stay tumorless. Maybe ignorant, but not malignant. I built this from the ground up like stalagmites. Don't wait for me to pop out before you act right. Don't get killed like bagpipes. I'm non-violent, but not spineless. Never mindless, but uh, occasionally detached. I mix the cone with the yak. Stepping on every crack in the sidewalk like try me. Smite me. High key, you ain't in my octave. I stay locked in like a house cat. Taking afternoon naps on the sunny spot on the couch. Sign around the house, smelling things. Shedding hairs. Car L tasting like a lemon Square. Ooh. I'm looking for heaven where hell neighbors at the table running tapers, art money scraper, stay with the pen and paper, even when I'm breathless, I prioritize friendship in the selfish industry, just trying to see green like our messages on the subway, trying to fit all the dishes onto one plate, you ain't spitting if you've never laid it in one take, I ain't getting paid to pump fake, you know I keep it lit like a drunk tank or a dunk tank or what's that funk, I think I need some steak. I shouldn't have worn deodorant today. I'm separating myself from the rest of y'all. There's a lot of funk in here. I'm just, you know, acknowledging it. And I'm gonna see how far my mic cord can go. It feels like umbilical, you know. I won't really have made it until they hand me some cordless mics. But this is about the longest leash on life that I'll get. 10 feet, 8 feet, 9 feet, 6. What are numbers anymore, but just something you ain't got in your wallet. You know, capital one, capital none. Where were you on January 6th? As I peer around the wine bar, none of you were there. Those type of people don't like experimental music. This shit's tight. This shit's a lot better than what I'm doing. But the thing about visuals are, that the reason why I'm a painter is that I can shut the fuck up for a minute. Shut the fudge up, shut the fudge up, shut the fudge up. Okay, it's going better. Some of my things that are pretty written are coming through. What's up, no, brother? Good friend, new wings. All right, all right, all right. That's enough of that. You guys are like so much nicer than you have to be. I'm doing such a terrible job, but I'm being transparent about it. And really, you know, 10 fucking fudging years of performing at these type shows in Portland, you really learn something about yourself. And that is, hmm. And that is mm. <laughs> just a snare. People spend their whole lives looking for one of these. That's for my show later. I got a comedy show at midnight. Not really funny, not really good at music, but it's easy to get booked in Portland, as you can see. <laughs> check, check, check. Stool. No. Stool. No. Okay, here we go. I gotta take the pressure off of like doing pre-existing songs and beats and shit because I'm a good writer, but there's nothing to read. I'm in the mall. I'm really disappointed in my choices today because I walk in, first thing I fucking see, Auntie Annie's, my favorite place. 
The only reason why I've come to this mall for the last several years, Auntie Annie's, walk right by it. I gotta go do sound check. I got sound check for something I'm gonna do terrible at. Instead of stopping and getting a pretzel. And this is like a metaphor for, you know, it's just a small example of a larger thing that's just been going through my whole life. You know, I should stop for what's good for me, what I want. I'm gonna go to my obligation first. I'm not saying this is a bad obligation, this is a good obligation. But I'm easy, it's easier to do something that, you know, someone else expects of you than what you want in that moment. This is probably off time. I don't know. I'm not good at music. All right, that was song three. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. He didn't announce song two. I don't remember this shit. Not how. I don't know how this got on the 404. Did I make this earlier? Do you guys see? Right. Anybody in here know what key this is in? Help me out. All of you have music blogs, I can tell. Okay, I can't bullshit through this whole thing. I'm about to fucking do something here. And stop thinking out loud. Okay. It's not even a real dog. It's scary to be the fire starter to a burning bridge. If you're still hungry, there's some pieces of my heart left over in the fridge. Help yourself, just make sure you close the lid. It's drying out enough in this climate as it is. Time keeps on slipping and falling and suing the store like Elbert Kleinschmidt. I hand a lot of baggage like a bellboy, but I don't expect a tip. I don't expect anything to get any lighter. I don't expect anything to get any easier. I don't expect anything. And the only disagreements I get in with people are those that expect things. And I just want to feel good, but I don't know what that looks like anymore. And I don't really feel bad, but I don't know what that looks like anymore either. So maybe I'm feeling good, bad, mid. Nah, it's either good or bad. Never mid. I'm f so full of shit. <sighs> Is it, you guys all take deep breaths today? I haven't. I think I'm good at giving advice to people that I can't fool myself. It sounds emotional. We go through life just from like moment to moment, just hoping that someone will tell us like, you're doing good. You're making the right choices. Things are working out, shit's paying off. I love you for who you are. And we get those after accomplishments and not a whole lot in between those accomplishments. You're either being validated or ignored, being validated or ignored. I should throw some delay on this. Sounds heavier. You're either being validated or ignored. You're either being validated or ignored. You're either being validated or remembering you forgot to take the clothes out of the dryer. Little things. All these little things that add up to make you feel like shit when you didn't accomplish something that day. But the thing is, I should have got that Auntie Anne's pretzel. 
I won't, hour from now, I won't remember if I remembered any of my lyrics. I'm just gonna be like, fudge, I should have got that pretzel. And like, you can't live like that. Nobody can live like that. Oh, hell yeah. This is probably what you guys want. This is better. This is better. I didn't make this beat. God did. I see why DJ's DJ. <laughs> Look at all the shit other people did. But I picked it out. Because if you're like me, you do shit you do. Sometimes just doodle. When I was told 30 minutes, I thought there'd be commercial breaks. What's up? See, my problem is if I just kept my head down, you wouldn't expect me to say anything. If I go down here, it'll be easier. <sighs> this used to be a Spencer's Gifts. Can you tell? I too used to be a Spencer's Gifts. Pumping out novelties. Anything to get a little laugh for $25. And I still do that. But I charge $250. And I sell nothing. Sometimes you gotta raise your price just to keep the average person at bay. Sometimes you have to really underperform, you know, to humble yourself later when you need the support. And these are things that I'm, I'm working through. And as an artist, we can't figure out anything unless someone's giving us attention at the same time. This morning, I got up at 8 a.m. I spent three hours getting stoned playing Mario Kart and getting dressed. Trying to figure out which rings my fingers fit on, you know, or the other way around, you know what I mean? And I loaded all these tracks into my thing. I'm looking over my beats and shit on uh, my notes app. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I'm not prepared. I don't want to do well. But I've been conditioned by this city. I've been conditioned by this city to fuck around and 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 fudge 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 around till you wake up 10 years later in all ages show at Lloyd Center Mall which don't even got the Medi Grill or the Cajun and Grill or any of these staples that we grew up with, first of all, DQ, Orange Julius, that combination doesn't need to happen. It's pretty, what, what, were they competition? They just merged like Comcast and Xfinity or whatever the fuck it is? Is that, they're same business. Anyway, I remember when Orange Julius was Orange Julius. It did not need no DQ clout to bring the people in from those rural towns where the DQs are, you know, always on the way to something else. You never go to a DQ intentionally. It's like, oh, this might be the last drive through for 68 miles. 
this is the only two-star restaurant in Yakima County or whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? And the Orange Julius only exists at the mall. There's no brick and mortar Orange Julius, as far as I know, I'm ignorant, but that's not the point of this. We let the Orange Juliuses and the DQs take over our goddamn city and the Cajun and Grills, they're, you know, they're gone. They're out of the next thing. I don't know how that relates to hip hop, but neither do you. And we're working through all that. And I just want you to smile even if I'm feeling a little uninspired today. And it's not your fault. I've just been doing a lot, dealing with a lot. My, my brain has like 64 gigs or megabytes of space. I'm like those old MP3 players before iPods. I gotta clear shit out, like it's just, I don't keep it. And you know, it works better for other people, DJs, if I was a DJ. I don't blame you. Okay, all right. Let's get back to our roots. But I'm the only honest artist for that reason. I'm so full of shit. Okay. Here's the thing. I had all this shit in my head earlier before I came here. And then I got hung up on the word experimental. I'm like, I can't just rap over my beats. Hold up. Let me just forget fucking everything and come in here and try to tell jokes. And I'd be relying on comedy knowing that I'm as funny as my music theory is. So, okay. There's at least one other song I know. I'm not even going to check the clock, but I know it's probably been six, seven minutes. <laughs> Okay, this one I know at least the first bar. If I jump shit. <laughs> I'm just a less horny cool Keith, you know. I'm an ultra magnetic MC, you know. I know it's hard, but you're gonna need to give me my space. If you ain't in my top eight, let's get this shit straight. Plates stay full metaphorically so I forget to eat You ain't shit but a tweet, I'm a whole ballroom Might wear a skirt to get my balls more room Never want to kid till you ball the sticky rice to the lob and dip in the lime juice How we feeling? How we really feeling? Do these villains have fun anymore? I'm like if Carl Young ain't fun guy and listen to Jungle or whatever the fuck I wrote before God damn it! No longer experimental This is whatever genre sucks That's what I am in comedy, they would call this bombing. <laughs> I just gotta figure a way to turn the white guilt in the room to make it so you guys can't judge me for not performing well. Uh, my dad came here from Laos, and like any good immigrant, got a white woman pregnant in college, dipped out on me, and now I'm here looking for his attention in all of you nice people's faces. <laughs> uh, 
watching King of the Hill, being like, Khan, that's me. No, it's not. He was born in Laos. No, it's too sad. Oh, yeah, I just made this the other day. This is the last sample. Let's do this. How are we feeling? Okay, we'll, we'll get through this. I sell services and products. You know you should get your own work to be proud of. You getting on my nerves, but I'll be a fool to get riled up over words. I just switched the loud up. Ask no one, that shit can't get drowned out. Might smoke a split, but miss the existence. I make hit sets off the victim. You know every slap feel like it might be the big one. Tron Andre says not my fault. Who am I to halt any hustles? The only bone in a hollow muscles. Holler at the trust issues to store your ego tissues in there like marrow. My homie got a season to sus like Miro. You know we in a recession when Nike starts suing parody designers. Fashion ain't fun no more. I'm beef with the costume department. It's a disgrace to hip hop. But they got a goodwill budget and top to bottom taste. I feel good in my bucket. It's roofing in the rain. I grew a lot of pain. I didn't compartmentalize. I just straight up forgot. Fat chances. You know, I burned them off. This city got me by the mm, turning cough. Is this a union job? I meant to ask earlier. Sorry about your shirt. I meant to ask earlier. I shouldn't have called that all in. I meant to cash earlier. I'm going past your superior and showing up in the CEO's home. They see me eating lobster bowl noodle on the couch right after they disabled the alarm. I mean no harm. I just want to talk and you go listen and never hear again. A fart doc not feel the wind. Break of this odds ain't a skin if it's top of your newsworthy. Wear a blood like a Hoosier's jersey. Break down the compound, word of the state of that school if you need a little hint. Blood so big, even the crutch need to split. Lifelong binges ain't no stints. 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 Whoa. Lifelong binges ain't no stints. This is how I feel. Spoiler room is really tapping into my psyche right now. Fuck. It's not very good. Not very good. Not very good. You guys are so nice. Can you come to every other show of mine? <laughs> wow. All right. Well, you know. I don't know what time it is, but just come up and like choke slam me on this folding table when I'm done. Oh yeah. This song's just tight. I'm not gonna pretend to remember my lyrics for it. I'm just gonna slap it. Yo, it's the cabin they say. Saturday ain't a day for prayer. I'm just trying to lay, lay low and lay another layer. God favors the lucky, that's for fucking sure, that's for fucking sure. This ain't a video game, it's life or death. That knife for stabbing, not for slicing, I'm jousting my anxiety. Who goes so much? Buddy. That was song three. Okay.
see the difference between me and a poser is a poser wants to be liked and appreciated and acknowledged for doing well. Me? I know I fucking suck. Fudging suck. Sorry, kids. But if your parents are taking you to a show in a record store that used to be a Spencer's Gifts at Lloyd Center, I'm not the worst thing you've experienced yet. What do you call that, genre? Noise? Dude. All right. Kalimba, just a prop. Doesn't make any real noise. There's cameras here, cameras there, cameras there, cameras there. You've been spoiler roomed. 